believe in nothing but the Almighty. Just a little jewel and a pure white She never did for ever be nobody wifey. Tonight I might fall in love. Keep dancing and call it love. Ich würde euch gerne die nächste Rednerin vorstellen. Sie ist geboren in Kamerun und pendelt zwischen Berlin und Limbe in Kamerun. Sie ist Schriftstellerin, sie ist Dichterin, sie ist Aktivistin und sie ist Mutter von zwei wunderschönen schwarzen jungen Frauen. Und sie ist kritische Entwicklungs- Kooperationsforscherin, aber ich glaube, heute steht sie in allererster Linie als Schwester vor euch. Herzlich willkommen, Clementine. Wow, Berlin, I love you. I speak to you today from a place of deep grief. I speak from a place of anger and of tiredness. We have said racism is here. Racism kills. Patriarchal violence and class violence kills. We see it with our own eyes. The systems that killed George Floyd are being used all over the world. It happens here. Mariam Ndeye Sar, Uri Jalu, Christy Strondek, Tonu Mbobga. It's been going on for a long time. As for racism and the ghetto, we know from the Kerner Commission in the USA, 70 years ago, the Kerner Commission said, white institutions created the ghetto. White institutions maintain it. White society condones it. We also know white solidarity is able to transform institutions. White solidarity can end racial inequality in assets, in housing, in employment, and in education. White solidarity can reform the police. In white majority countries. Together, this new generation can bring about a lasting change. want to name the global systems of patriarchy and class exploitation. Tsitsi Dangaremba, a writer and feminist from Zimbabwe, has talked about the way in which women and gender non-conforming people are made marginal under patriarchy. attacks all bodies which do not fit the gender, sexual, or religious norms. In Cameroon, my 
country of birth, many people live in fear of police violence. They suffer state violence and class violence. Imperial and colonial systems created the black-run institutions which now carry out class violence against black people in Cameroon. If migrants die in the Sahara, it is the violence of global economic systems which drive them into the desert. If gender fluid people, men, women and children are sold in Libya, they are there because they cannot stay at home. If people drown in the Mediterranean, it is the European agency Frontex which is responsible. under horrible conditions in Greece, Turkey, Spain, and Italy, if they are hurt in the lagers or get sick in Germany, it is Europe's migration regime which is to blame. If black people are made to harvest food in unsafe conditions, that is economic violence. If black people are attacked on the street in Paris, it is state and class violence which injure them. Without the current economic and political systems, many Cameroonians would stay at home. So what do we do? What is our hope? How do we use our suffering? How do we grow through our pain? How do we fully acknowledge our fear, our rage? How do we transform what we feel? How do we grieve? How do we hold each other? How do we heal? One way to heal is to honor those who fall in struggle with respect, with joy. And care. One way to heal is to speak of our connection to them and to the people who have gone before them. One way to heal ourselves is to remember the historic continuity between those who fall and we who remain. I want to quote the word of one of my political mothers more than a hundred years ago sojourner truth said i will not allow my life's light to be determined by the darkness around me we experience violence and we continue to dream. We find happiness. We experiment. We organize. We build. We nurture. We tell stories. We make art. We preserve wisdom. Sojourner 
truth said, life is a hard battle anyway. We have been in this fight for 500 years. If it takes another 500 years, we will continue. choice how we fight. I speak to you today from a place of trust, of respect, of care, of commitment, of interdependence. Most of all, I speak to you from a place of tenderness, Bell Hook says, love is the only sane and satisfactory response. To the problem of human existence. Let's continue to demand justice. Yeah. 